Hi, my name is Sumi Hilal. I'm a professor at the University of Florida and director of the Mobile and Pervasive Computing Lab. I would like to give a brief uh, introduction about ATLAS. So ATLAS is a project that we have started here at the University of Florida to look at the issue of fragmentation. The market is so fragmented with all kinds of devices. How can you ever build a system of large amount of devices uh, without using system integration, without having to go through the step of integrating things together. How can devices self-integrate into a system? So we started that project a number of years ago, and we have created a middleware and also a sensor platform. So this is our Atlas uh, board, and it is a stackable modular architecture. This node here is uh, a Zigbee node, antenna, and then upward communication, which is Zigbee. Um, a brain, which is an Atmel at Mega, and then downward we have a variety of boards to connect to devices. So we, we created Atlas so that when we connect devices into the Atlas uh, platform that has middleware in it, uh, when we connect and power on, the device gets to be represented in the network. So today we have evolved that architecture so that a device is represented in a gateway and also the cloud. Uh, this kind of externalization allow us to convert any large collection of devices into simply a software project. So programming uh, the system of devices become easily facilitated and allow us to uh, create applications that have meaningful life cycle where you can update the application, edit it, and change the logic without having to go down to the devices or access physically access the devices. So that is Atlas, and we have uh, deployed Atlas in the Gator Texmar house. Uh, it's well published. It, there are two uh, US patents on Atlas uh, uh, technology. Now, moving from Atlas into Atlas IoT, Atlas IoT look at in industrial IoT and personal IoT and try to look at the issue of how can we actually uh, create uh, things that are manageable, that can be securely managed, uh, remotely and that can sort of communicate with other things to allow for interesting applications. Uh, we will focus on a, a particular architecture, we'll call it Atlas Thing Architecture. And as you see here in the picture, the Thing ar Architecture is something that you overlay over uh, an operating system. So uh, it means that there are additional layers really needed to enable things in the Internet of Things, uh, in addition to the standard operating system services. And some of this, as you see here in the lower part, we, uh, we're looking at what's called device description layer, in which devices get to be described by something like a device driver, we call it a device uh, description language uh, a manifest. That, that descriptor basically enables devices to generate its own API and, and exchange knowledge and, and communicate with other things to really enable a new ecosystem of programming. But most importantly, for these things to have any meaning, the software, including the DDL and any all these other layers, need to be dynamic, need to be sort of managed. So we use uh, device management standards such as OMADM and IPSO to uh, to sort of provision these uh, things, to provision the software layers on the things, and to also update them securely. So security is of paramount importance to us.